Can we get somebody over at Business by Marina Bay? 70, I'm working that way. Okay, we're entering the youth turn now over uh, Gresham under Apartment Bridge. Tide approaching Evergreen. Units over there, you're approaching 50 miles an hour. Now let's get somebody at Tri City Beach and Evergreen. Or anybody on Evergreen, anywhere. One, 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 one. Okay, we're turning on to Evergreen. Let's also get somebody here at the intersection of Evergreen and Lee with spikes in case he turns around. Uh, he's reaching around again. He's doing a lot of reaching over towards the passenger side. That's what. Doing about 36 miles an hour on Evergreen towards the Tri City Beach. Number four will hold at Evergreen and Causeway. That's clear, sir. We're going to have them locked in if somebody can get them at Tri City Beach. Do we have spikes on both ends? Passing the water on Evergreen. Yeah, he's slowing down. Still on Evergreen. Okay, we're on the straightaway at Evergreen, approaching the golf course. Passing the golf course, doing 40 miles an hour. Shoot such as Fox to come completely around the, around the road here at uh, Tresley Beach. That's there. Just get out of the way in case he tries to do something. He's been reaching around. Yeah, he's still reaching down. I can't tell exactly what he's doing. All right, we're about 100 yards from the spike. Okay, spike's got him. Should have at least one tire on the right, if not two. Turning on Tri-City Beach towards 99. Looks like the front passenger side tire is going flat for sure. That's clear. We're approaching the railroad tracks on Tri-City Beach. All right, we're at 99 now, and we're continuing at Tri City Beach. Passing Bay Zavala. Still on Tri City Beach, passing Forest View for us. The front passenger tire is definitely flat. Okay, we're at Texas now. It looks like he might be going east on Texas. Yep, we're east on Texas. We've been taken. I'm going to get around. Can we get somebody at James and Kilgore? Okay, we're at Roseman Park now. And he's turning into Roseman Park. We're at Roseman Park. And we can get spikes here at the one-way Roseman Park at the pavilion. Probably work out. All right, we're turning into the dead end by the water. We've got people fishing on here. He just went in the water. The 15 has the fire in this stage. Okay, he's trying to get out. He's out of the car now. Hispanic male in his 20s. Short hair. He's making sure to keep one hand underwater. Watch that other hand. All right, he's swimming towards us. All right, everybody can slow it down. He's swimming towards us. The car's still in the water. I'm going to Roseland, Roseland Park, Benita Wage, Cross Street, to assist PD, the subject that was being pursued, went into the water in the car. Medic 4, no problem, 100 Roseland Park, Roseland Drive at Roseland Park. Medic 4, no problem, 100 Roseland Drive at Roseland Park. PD wants you to stand by for a subject that drove the car in the water they were in pursuit of. Clear vehicle went in the water, but they're swimming to him. He's out of the water, though. He's in custody. We'll still need to check the vehicle. We had a vehicle this morning that was reported stolen. Uh, apparently the son of the complainant had taken the vehicle without permission. One of our patrol officers spotted the vehicle driving down the road this morning, uh, about an hour or, or two after the car was reported stolen. He attempted to initiate a traffic stop on it. Uh, the driver in the car uh, refused to stop. Wound up in a what we determined to be a low-speed pursuit. Uh, the suspect in the vehicle drove the car back here into uh, Roseland Park. Uh, and as you can see, he drove it straight off into the water. Uh, fortunately, the, the driver of the vehicle, the suspect, he was able to get out of the car and uh, we were able to get him out of the water and get him in custody without any further incident. So right now, we're just waiting on a record to get here so we can figure out how we're going to get the car out of the water. Lieutenant Doris also said the suspect from today's chase was 28 years old. He will be facing at least felony evading in a motor vehicle charge and possibly auto theft as well. We will have to consult with the DA to determine if one or both charges will be filed.